This is how the Egyptians saw the Egyptians. And we categorized ourselves based on biology. And that's very important to do. This had no uh, malice included in this, this classification system. This was all based on genetics and keeping everybody healthy and at their best potential. This was about making black folks the best black folks they could be, white folks the best white folks they could be, yellow folks, etc., etc., because we all have ethnic advantages based on our biology. We all have some advantages and we all have some disadvantages if we're put into um, habitats that are not natural for us, like us right now, living outside of the equator. Right? Anytime you go get a reptile, you get a reptile, you have to buy a UVB light bulb with that reptile. Because they tell you, this is going to get tumors and cancers and die if you don't put a UVB bulb in there because this animal comes from the equator. They didn't tell us that. We need that the same thing. We're from the equator. That's why we get tumors and cancers and die because we're supposed to be getting a, lot, a, a much heavier concentration of UVB, UVC. But your biology, all right, your skin, your skin is telling you what's going on beneath the skin. All right, and this is why there was such a intense classification system. Because what's going on beneath his skin is not the same as what's going on beneath his skin. What's going on beneath his skin is not the same as what's going on beneath this guy's skin. See, we have that problem with black folks, right? We're so upset with white folks that we think we're the same as the red, the yellow. No, 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 no. Everybody's different, all right? So just because you see in Japan Everybody's on soybeans, and soybeans is healthy for Jap Japanese people that lives in Japan. Doesn't mean it's good for you, a black man in Ohio. This, it just you're not that guy. You want to eat for your strongest genes. You want to eat for the strongest genes. So you want to eat primarily plant-based to take you back to your strongest genes. You want to move to your strongest potential, and that's how all of our genes are activated or deactivated. All right, so this, I put this, I usually, I try to put this everywhere because black folks need this. Like I could have came here, this would have been worth y'all money for me to just come here, put this up on the screen, sit down, answer questions about this, and go home. Because this is the biggest problem black folks deal with um, that don't live on the equator. Black folks in America specifically, vitamin D deficiency. All right, and then we had black folks, holistic healers that came and did us dirty. All right, they say, oh, you black, you got melanin. That means all you got to do is go outside five minutes you get all the vitamin D you need. That is a lie. <laughs> you need to be out there in the sun longer than everybody else. You need to be out there longer than everybody else. And the black woman's got to be out there longer than the black man. Because her fat cells are on average 20 to 40% bigger than ours because she has to breastfeed and make the baby and all that kind of stuff. So she has to be out there longer for that, that sunlight to penetrate through her, her skin and convert the cholesterol into vitamin D. I want y'all to get that. Cholesterol is vitamin D. You have to know that. The sunlight hits your skin. The cholesterol that is in your body then gets converted to vitamin D. What does that mean, minister? That means if there is no cholesterol, you could be buck naked on the beach in Jamaica for 24 hours, you will not make any vitamin D.